Welcome back to Good Day, Columbia 633. And you know what? I, uh, I went to a friend's birthday party the other night. Actually, a 14th birthday party. Big bash, by the way. It was very cool. 14 years old. 14. A DJ food, all kinds of stuff. Lori and Trent uh, Duncan, their, their uh, young daughter, uh, Abby Duncan. Had Not a even party 16, with but 14? 14. Wow. And, of course, the DJ was rocking the house. <laughs> and I was trying to do, what is that, the wobble? I think is that is that what it is when you you do this number? I yeah, I believe that's what it is. The wobble. I don't even well, know how to do. I'm still working is. on the the hokey pokey, I guess. But <laughs> the the wobble is the big the big dance of uh, the kids. It, yeah, I mean, there's so <laughs> many you can't keep up every week or every month. There's a new one. Yeah. There was uh, peanut butter and jelly at one point. Then there was peanut the butter and jelly. Yeah. Then there was the wobble. Then there was. The, I mean, it's just so many. Well, uh, anyway, well, that's, <laughs> well, that is entertainment for you, without a doubt. Well, as of every <laughs> Thursday, wedding planner Melanie Murphy brings us great information on planning the big day. That's right. Now this week, Melanie is talking about well, you guessed it, entertainment. You know, you've got a DJ versus a band, or maybe you just use an iPod. A lot of times it comes down to budgets, but Melanie has some considerations on this week's tie the knot tips. So this week on Tie the Knot Tips, we are going to talk about reception entertainment. When it comes to picking entertainment for your event, you'll find there are many options out there. We're going to talk to two experts who are going to tell us a little bit about how to find the right entertainment that suits your event. I'm Dave Gilbert with Party Time DJs. But what we provide is more than just playing music. We keep the event flowing. Uh, we make all the appropriate announcements from introductions through the first dances, uh, introduce the people that are given toasts, all the way to the end. Uh, when you're looking for a DJ, the, the, there's usually a couple of considerations. Uh, personalities have to match. Uh, usually we'll meet with the bride and groom, we'll find out is it an older crowd, is it a younger crowd, is it a pretty conservative crowd, is it a wild crazy New York crowd. Uh, and we try to fit the appropriate DJ to that need. Most brides want two things. They want to make sure the reception's flowing smoothly and they want to make sure their guests are having a great time. And what a good DJ is going to do for you at some point, it's always time for the party to get started. A good DJ knows what to do and how to do it. My name's Doug Baker. I run the Columbia office of East Coast Entertainment. Well, you, you want to qualify bands in what style and what budget range you want to be in. So there's, there's actually a lot of questions we can help you with as far as narrowing down those choices. Well, an agency can provide you with literally hundreds of choices of groups that are available on your date, uh, fit your budget range, um, fit the type and style of, of music that you're looking for. I would definitely recommend that if possible they can go see a band live, but uh, seeing them in the right situation is, is very important as well. If you see a band playing maybe uh, at an outdoor event or a nightclub, that's not going to be the same band basically that you'll see in a wedding situation because they can adapt to the situation that they're in. But they were getting but, down, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, the mothers, those three ladies at the end, they were just like really getting with it. Was that the wobble? <laughs> no, that wasn't it. All right, well, good. Of course, uh, <laughs> we'll have more Tie the Knot tips for you at MidlandsConnect.com slash GDC. Melanie Murphy always brings us great information if you're planning a wedding. And boy, it's, it's kicking a wedding season here. Oh, uh, absolutely. You know the so, springtime yeah. and the summer is usually the biggest wedding seasons, yeah. That's it. Tie the Knot tips mm -hmm. every single Thursday. Okay, the federal government tackling the issue of premature births. They sure are, but what does that mean for healthy babies? Janet Parker has your health watch straight ahead.